Hey, 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 what's moving, shaking and grooving, my friends? Before I get started with the Skype tutorial, I want to bring to your attention something I didn't do in the last video, in detail, anyway. I remember telling you that if something you're interested in is setting up a blog, website, squeeze pages, capture pages, autoresponders, marketing, SEO, please just come right over here and subscribe to my automated web business transformation 10-day video training, 100% free. Just put your name and email address right in here. And we're at DaveDWilliamson.com where you can find that. It'll be right here at the top of the page as it shows here. Now, if you go to any other page on my site to say training here, it's going to show up over here. So if you don't see it on the front page, it'll be right here on the right side. Okay? Let me refresh my history here real quick. And I'm going to show you how to subscribe to the blog, to these free social media uh, video trainings, 100% free again. And there's a lot of information here that will really help you. Skype, Facebook, Twitter, how-to programs, I mean, you name it. Now, this pop-up's designed only to come up your first visit because I don't harass people with pop-ups every time they visit my site. They get annoyed, and I don't believe in that. But this is where you can subscribe to my blog here, these free trainings. I do post about, uh, well, I do them as often as twice a week if I find real good free programs that will help you in your marketing. And again, they're really pinpointed on um, Twitter, Facebook, and over 30 other communities. A lot of valuable information here. Just put your name and address in here in the pop-up. Okay, today's post is going to be on Skype. And that is a communication program. You can get help from me live. Skype.com. This is where you can get a hold of me and I can uh, help you personally by live chat, text, or I can even uh, call you uh, once you have Skype. I can call you and talk to you and show you on screenshot uh, really cool. Now, I do offer basic help in mentoring free, which is something you won't find on the Internet. Most mentoring is $500 to $3,000, um, but I don't believe in that for basic help. I help everybody. So um, here we are at Skype. You can come right over here to get Skype. And if you're using Mac, Mac's right here, Windows is right here, and go ahead and download Skype, okay? I'm going to close this and assume that we have Skype on our computer now. We've down downloaded it. So what you're going to do after you've downloaded it is come right over here and look in your menu, menu. Now mine's already up right here because I use it all the time, but yours is not going to be. So you want to go to all programs. Come in here and just look for Skype. Here's Skype right here. Click there. Now what that's going to do is activate Skype so it's running on my computer so I can receive calls or whatever. And we'll let that load. Then I'll go over how to set up your profile. Then I'll show you how to add me as a friend or anybody else as a friend. And I'll even show you how to use it for messaging. So here we are. Now you can see it brought up Skype. It's right here on the right in your system tray. It'll be running right here, okay? There are different statuses for Skype. You can designate when you're away. You can make yourself invisible. You can make yourself offline. And I'm gonna show you how to do all them options right now. Right click on your little Skype emblem right down here. And it says change online status. Now you got away, you got do not disturb, you got invisible, offline. And if you're using paid Skype, which I don't use, I use the Google phone, which I'll cover later on. That's another little bonus deal I'll show you how to use for free. If you use paid Skype, you can set up call forwarding. You can see that right here. Set up call forwarding. Now most of the time, you'll see me as away. In other words, you'll see my little Skype icon here, my profile, as yellow, okay? And on your computer, um, your status will show up right here. As you can see, I'm away. It's showing up away right here. Now, even though I'm away, my friends, 99.2% of the time, I live on the Internet. I'm usually here. You send me a message, I usually get right back to you. And most weekends, I'm working too. So if I'm away... And I don't answer you, I'm truly out of the house. So Skype has saved me a gazillion hours in marketing time. It really has. I can do video calls. I can live chat with you, text chat. I can call you and personally chat with you. I can show you how to use a program by live screenshot. 
Okay, your profile. First of all, if you if you end up in one of these other screens over here, like to say right here somewhere, you can go up here to get to your profile. Click on home. Okay, home's going to take you to where your profile and all your settings are. This is all pretty self-explanatory. They have a, a wizard for finding friends. I believe it'll even go into your Google Gmail account or Yahoo, import your friends or send a request to them. You can get them all in one place and communicate. Your call quality right here, it'll self-check everything with your microphone. You set up your sound equipment here. And there are a lot of other options here. Just feel free to learn the program a little bit. When you add me as a friend and I get on Skype, uh, if you have any questions, just ask me. I'll help you. Okay, now, your profile. You have a profile tab. It's right here. Click on that. First thing I want to bring your attention to is always use your professional picture. You can see my picture here. I've um, got my Sunday go to meeting clothes on. I use that in my uh, Facebook profile. I use that in over 30 communities. You always want to portray a professional uh, image. So uh, on down here, I got my Skype name. Okay, and, and when you sign up for your Skype account, don't do what I did. Try to get your real name. Mine would be Dave D. Williamson. So John Doe, whatever your real name is, try to get that. And if you can't get that, here's a tip. Use a middle initial, and if you can't get that, add another letter to your middle initial. Or even add a number after your real name, number one or something. But always try to stay close to that name. If people see your name, the more you're networking your efforts, okay? Same with the picture. The more you're going to brand yourself. Let's take a look at the about me. Now, this is real important. This is branding again, even in Skype. Even though you use Skype to communicate and get help or help other people, you want to brand yourself. So, same as the picture, same as you're using your real name in the profile, you want the about me page to be about you. And you can see the call to action that I want people to take here is right here. Read more at davedwilliamson.com. The only difference is I have About Dave. Okay, Now that's going to go to my About Dave page because it's about me and I want them to learn more about me. Don't try to sell them nothing. Don't try to push anything, any sales pitch or taglines down their throat to get them to go to an affiliate site. Okay, That's no good. It just doesn't work nowadays because the trust is very unbearing on the internet with all the scamsters out there. So um, keep that in mind. We want to go over to these tabs right over here. Okay, on the left side, these this is, you can't read it all, but it's all contacts. These are all the contacts I've added or that people that have come to get, get to know me or my friends. Okay, you can see them all right here. If I want to communicate with somebody here, just say Danny Votra. Danny Votra here. Okay, I click on Danny Boy's name here. Right here is the chat window. Okay, this is all the chat window. And you can go back yesterday, seven days, 30 days, all the way back to six months in conversations you had with that person. This is really, really valuable piece of information because if you need a link that he gave you that's really important, you can go back seven days, 30 days, whatever, and find that link. If you want to chat with this man, Danny, you would type your chat right in here. Hello, how are you? And then all you would do is hit the send message button or hit enter on your keyboard and Dan's gonna get, Danny here, Votra is gonna get that message, okay? I'm not gonna do that because I'm not talking to Dan right now. Also, another cool thing when you communicate here is you can use these little icons over here, whatever they call them, your smiley faces, sad faces, glasses, they have a, uh, Rain, it's raining, sunshine, clocks ticking, all kinds of things here. You can put them in there too. That's pretty cool. Now we're going to cover recent conversations. Okay, if you click there, you can see all the recent conversations you've had. If you click on a name, like for example, Mona Elthorpe over here is my partner. Enough, enough on that. Okay, how do you add me as a friend? You come right down here, add as contact. Now, if you know my email, which is D Will. I'm going to show you this just so you know my email, okay? Um, dwill60513 at gmail.com. And you can always pause this video and write this down. You can add me that way, okay? And hit the add button. The way I'm recommending you to do it is use my Skype name, which is the same thing, only it's not the email address. It's dwill60513 
hit add. This is, I'm logged into Skype, so I'm not going to have the option. But just follow the prompts after you hit the add button. That about covers it. And toodaloo.